Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. In the last episode, we finished most of the side quests we can do at this point in the game. Uh, we finished off with the most boring ones, the Shumi Village, Tedious' Ball side quest, and the Windhill Village side quest, which is really short, boring, and unrewarding. But you do get a little bit of backstory. So now what we want to do is actually get back to the main story. And if you remember, what we wanted to do is, last thing we did is we were at FH and we found our teammates in the thingy but Galbadia had orders to burn it to the ground so we figured out that Edea is now targeting port towns and um, she's pretty much gonna burn everything in her path until she finds Ellen because Ellen has this mysterious ability to send people's consciousnesses into the past or something like that which is what she was doing with Squall and the rest of the team so anyway we need to head back to Balam because that's you know that's our home place and make sure that Galpadia isn't there wrecking shit up. So let's head over there. Now you can't enter to the, with, uh, into the port, so we're going to have to just go onto the island itself. Alright, here it is, the island of Galbadia. And what the heck? What is this? Dude, that's Galbadia Garden. And it's floating. It's flying just like us. So I guess Galbadia Garden was able to be mobile as well, and they figured out how to do it? Great. Well, anyways, the bad news is, well, that's bad news, but the bad news is they're also here at Balam, so we were right. They are going after us next. So we're going to have to just park right here, we'll do a little face-off, and let's head into Balam, see what's going on. Bunch of bullshit, man. Bullshit. Let's check this place out. See if it's already toe up from the flow up. Well, these loading times, man. Well, here we are, Zell. What do you have to say? What the hell? What's going on here? What the hell, Zell? Yo, gall body and scum. Give it up. What's going on here? This town is under the control of Sorceress Edea. The town is off limits. While we conduct our investigation, it will last for several days. Once we're through with our investigation here, you're next. So just stay out and stay put. Oh, hell no, he didn't. Zell? Yo, what's going on in there? Well, I don't know, man. There's nothing much I can do. You guys look suspicious. What are you doing here? What's Galbadia doing in a town like this? What do you want? Are you residents here? Yeah, that's right. At least residents should be allowed in. It's off limits. You cannot enter or leave. Do you understand? Ha! Who do you think you're talking to? Zell, calm down. Let me handle this. What? What is it now? You said the town was off limits. Does that mean we can't deliver a message either? That's too bad. We have some info on Ellen. What? El. Wait a minute. Tell me everything you know about her. Do you actually know who she is? Kind of, but we need to get inside to confirm something. If you find out any information at all, go talk to the commander. She's staying at the hotel. You will be rewarded. All right, we're in. Squall with the smooth talk in there. All right, so we got to take Zell with us because he's the resident of Balam. He's not going to leave. So who else is going to come with us? Oh, it looks like we can take Selfie now. And we are definitely going to do that because she's way lowest leveled. And Quistus is so OP right now. All right, so we'll take uh, Selfie. Let's do a junction exchange. There we go. All right, let's head inside. All right, so we are in Balm, under the control of Galbadia. So some crazy shit's going down in here. Uh, we can still go into Zell's house, and Mod is still here. So if you haven't got the Zell card by now, now is the best time. Oh wait, she's not here. Where is she? What's this? Hmm, looks like something was cooking. Let's uh, go inside here. Go into the living room. Mod Oh, there you are. Ma, you're safe. Zell, how on earth did you get into town? It's all in the brains, Ma. We just said we had some info on Ellen. Piece of cake. What a relief. I was worried you might have beaten up one of the guards. <laughs> the soldiers have threatened that the sorceress will burn the town to the ground should there be any disturbance. Sorceress Edea, is she here? I noticed a woman with a Galbadian army. Gray hair, patch over one eye. <gasps> Fujin? Dang. So, if they're sided with Cypher, that must mean they're with Galbadia now? Leave it to me. I'll get rid of those jokers. 
<clears throat> yeah, well, if Fusion and Rajan are here, you can bet your ass Cypher's probably here. Uh, what are you guys up to? Yo, Zell, I've been practicing my special move just for a day like this. Yeah, super miracle kick. Dang. What do you have to say about that? Hey, I told you time and time again not to act wild in people's houses. Huh. Well, anyway, that little kid is actually very important if you want to uh, leave town. Actually, uh, now... Yo, Squall! That's my room up there. It's sacred. You can't go in. All right. All right, so I think... Now, there's a point, normally you can't go in Zell's room, but there's a point where it's very, um, there's a point where he'll actually let you in because it's such a dire situation or whatever, but I think that's a little bit later. Regardless, for now, we can't go in his room. Um... Alright, so first let's do the leaving town bit. So naturally, if you try to leave town uh, after you get in, let's see what the Galbadian soldier tries to say. Like, say you want to go and do some other side quest or something. You need authorization to leave town. If you guys want to leave town, you better go report on Ellen. Alright, so as you can see, he'll just keep saying that. There, we don't have any way of getting out of town now. We're stuck here. And, like, what if there's a fight that we can't win? You know, what if there's a boss that we can't defeat? How do you get out of town to go level up and whatnot? Well, good question. You can't actually yet. All right. Um, so anyway, we have to go to the hotel first to activate a certain chain of events. We have to go try and see if we can find the commander or Fujin, somebody. All right, what's up, guys? What do you want? If it's the commander you're looking for, I have strict orders not to let anyone through. What information about Ellen? Hmm, more rumors. You know that we'll get a salary cut if we let him through without confirmation. Yeah, I know. In this army, your salary gets cut based on just how your boss is feeling. Yeah, remember when we were on the train with uh, fake President Delling? That guy's like, oh shit, can't propose to my wife now. Yo, listen, we have top secret info. Bring the commander out here. Well? These guys are kind of suspicious, huh? Yeah, totally. <laughs> what a bunch of weirdos. Have some respect for the captain. The captain is currently on patrol. Okay. The captain is currently on patrol. Go and find the captain. Alright, so there's the captain and the commander. The captain will be sure to reward you. We'll also take full responsibility. Go talk to the captain. Alright, so these douches don't want a pay cut. And apparently we can't even get in the hotel to stay. So where are we going to rest? Well, I think it's at this point that Zill will cave in and allow us to go into his room. We can't stay at the hotel. Ah, I guess we have no choice. Let's just go to my room and rest. It's not like I'm inviting you guys, okay? It's because we have no choice. All right, so we finally get to go to Zell's room. Ba 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 ba. Zell's room is actually pretty boss. <clears throat> it's different depending on who you bring in here too. Normally, I bring Irvine in here, so. So this is Zell's room. Don't go around touching everything, okay? I like to keep things clean. Yo, I just finished saying not to touch anything, and now you're on my bed. <laughs> Well, fine then. I didn't think you were so anal. You should feel honored that a very, very cute girl sat in your bed, you know. He should thank me, right, Squall? Nah, fuck that. Yeah, stop annoying me. So are you saying I'm an annoying person? Pretty much. That's it, Squall and Zell, you're both going down a rank. What? Y you kidding, right? Well, anyway, this is Zell's room. It's actually kind of funny. If you bring Irvine in here, he'll check out these guns, and Zell will be like, yeah, they're from my grandpa, and then Irvine will accidentally shoot one off. It's pretty funny. Anyway, yeah, you get a, you can rest in here in uh, Zell's bed, but I'm not going to do that because I like to be at critical HP. And then there's also a save point, of course. Let's save. Good stuff, good stuff. No, no, no. Let's start saving back at 1. Because I start back at 1. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also got his T-board here. Um, and then the punching bag. Let's fuck with the punching bag. Boom! 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 Mash, 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 mash. Pretty sure this doesn't do anything, but you can just punch it just for fun. Boom. Feels good. 
It feels so good. Okay, that's enough. Let's leave. So yeah, there's Zill's room. That's how you're supposed to rest when you're here. Also, once you've gone and talked to the guys by the hotel, now we're going to figure out how we're supposed to leave town if we want to. Which we're not going to, but if we wanted to, this is how you do it. So big bad rascal here. Special move. Super Miracle Kick. There you go. Don't worry, it's just my special move, so I'll only use it if I have to. Well, I'm off to check things out. Alright, and he's leaving. Say goodbye to Mother. I'm worried about my boy. Zell, so, if you see my son, just drag him back here, please. Well, okay. Man, did I really go down a rank like Selfie's head? Let's see. Nope, still 22. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so now we gotta go find Big Bad Rascal just to see what he's doing. Uh, let's go into this house. I think this is Big Bad Rascal's house. Uh, well, no. This is just some chick's house. Mommy and Daddy haven't come back. I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. Oh, no. Well, I think her Mommy and Daddy, if you talk to the people outside of the town, I think that's these people, but I'm not sure. Huh. Yeah, that's it's those two people out over there. Um, dang, I didn't mean to go back in there, but whatever. Oh, wait, yes, I did. Okay, so Big Bad Rascal's in here now. Don't cry, I'll sneak out and check up on him. But there's a soldier there. I'm faster than a speeding bullet, I can outrun anyone. But, trust me. Alright, so Big Bad Rascal's going to talk to this girl's mother and dad. But we're going to have to help him, because he's not going to be able to do it all by himself. So, let's do it. And trust me, this is going somewhere. Not just random side questing. So what you have to do is talk to the guard here. So all you have to do is just talk to him and leave it on the text box so that he's facing us. Otherwise he will catch Big Bad Rascal here and it will fail. Uh, as you can see he's motioning them to come over. <laughs> and the guy at the hotel, this is the guy that owns the hotel by the way, he looks over at the guard and he's like, alright. Comes over here, looks around, and now they're having their little conversation. Alright, and it's done. Now, just wait for the hotel guy to get back to his spot, no, nothing suspicious, and finish talking to the guy. Alright, so mission accomplished. Let's talk to Big Bad Rascal. Yo, Zell, thanks, man. I was able to talk to the hotel man while you distracted the guard. Next time, I'll take care of everything. Just give me a holler when you want to leave town. So basically, now all you have to do is talk to this kid, and he'll say, want to leave town, and you say yes, and then he'll go talk to the guard, and you'll be able to sneak out the side there and go out of town. So that's how you get in and out of town. Um, when you come back in, the guard will be like, huh, what the heck, I thought you were inside, and then he, like, just lets you back in. So, it's weird. Anyway, uh, thunder draw point, huh? Ooh, thunder spell. Lovely. We also got the junk shop here. Ah, uh, yes, you recognize the Zell, of course, of course. Uh, yep, we can do modifications, but, you know, everybody has their beast weapons right now. Uh, okay, let's go check out by the train station, see what's going on over here. There's also a good shop here. And more Galbadian soldiers, of course. I heard before there was someone sleeping behind one of the army vehicles. Is that what this is about? Sleeping behind the army vehicles? Well, anyway, yeah, so what we're supposed to be doing is finding the captain right now. So if you talk around town, you'll find clues about where he is. Anyway, um, let's see. We can buy ammos and tents and crap here. 31 remedies is probably enough for now. Okay, let's move on. So, we gotta find the captain. Now, this lady just said sleeping behind a van somewhere. Now, where are their vans? Well, they're out by the dock parked. So, let's go see if we can find the captain over there. Because if we find the captain, he can let us into the hotel to talk to the commander, and then we can wreck the commander's shit. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, okay. Here are the vans. What's up, dude? Behind the car. Yes, you can get in, but just go in from the back. Is there something there? Well, kind of. Just be grateful to Galbadia that this town hasn't gone up in a sea of flames. Swiss CD has the power to wipe this town out, you know. Well, anybody can set a frickin' town on fire. It's not that hard. Alright, so if you go behind the vans here and talk... There should be a guy around here somewhere. Here it is. How's it going? Is there any way I can help? Who, or rather, what are you? Shh. Keep your voice down, man. There's only one story here. You know, Ellen. You'll get nothing by giving info to those Galbadian soldiers. 
If you find out anything, come to me. Those Gobotians have no intention of paying. I'll give you money for it. You have my word. Psh! Hey, you know where the captain is? We need to find him to see the commander. The captain, eh? If you want to know, it'll cost you. I have to eat too, you know. I got three types for you. Alright, so we can buy a bronze hint, a silver hint, or a gold hint from tabloid guy here. Gold hint will lead you straight to where the captain is. These ones will tug you around in a few different directions. But we're just going to say forget it. Man, you guys are cheap. Everything has a price, you know. Because you don't actually need a clue to find the captain. You can just follow the trail on your own. So, let's go talk to these guys here. Maybe they know where the captain is. All I do is just crouch all day and look for clues. Owns possessions, some sent for the dog to go by. Oh, poor guy. Also, there's a drop point here by where the ship took off to doll it. And it's cure. Yay, cure. Weak spell. Alright, it's a little puppy. I've been told to use this dog to find Ellen. But without her scent to go by, what can we do? Uh, nothing, I guess. I guess you're pretty boned. Oh, the captain? Yeah, he was just fishing here. He caught a few and got really excited. He said he was going to eat them right away. Okay, so he caught some fish. Alright, the so the trail begins. Alright, so if the captain caught some fish, let's think about this logically. What would he do next? Well, you can't just eat raw fish. you got to cook them. So, where would he cook them? Well, probably in somebody's house, right? Or the hotel, but we can't go in there, so let's just check the houses. Let's just start with the one we're most familiar with, Zell's house. You know, and now that we think about it, oh, look at that, there's smoke coming from the vents. As if something was just being cooked here. <gasps> bum bum bum! Was the captain in our house all along? Just now, a man came in and asked if he could use the kitchen. I think he cooked some fish, the whole room is filled with this strange odor. Huh. Must have been pretty bad fish to give off this odor, I wonder if he's really going to eat it. Said he was going to eat it with his men. Hope nothing happens to them. Okay, so he cooked the fish, and he's going to eat it with his men. Now, where are his men? Well, you can check every which way but loose. But his men, are, most of his men are actually in the train station. <clears throat> Making sure the trains are shut down. What's up, dude? Captain? It's the captain's nap time now. Oops, uh, I mean, he's on patrol now. He's a very hard worker. Also, always out patrolling, so don't bother him. Well... Train station would be a pretty good place to nap, I guess, maybe? Huh. Well, let's head inside. Oh my god, what's wrong with these soldiers? C captain F fish I feel numb. Oh god, it was the bad fish. Uh, I thought it smelled funny. C captain how could you- how could you do this to us? What happened here? Don't look at me, an important looking Galbadian man came and offered the soldiers some fish. <coughs> really? Huh. Well, I wonder where he went. Well? Hmm, these symptoms appear to be caused by badom fish. They're similar to in appearance to balom fish. They should be alright in a few hours, but that man from Galbadia, he ate the same stuff too. I wonder how he's feeling. Probably... Perhaps he went to the town center. That's about the only place you can go from here. Huh. Alright. Well, where do we have to go from here? Uh, maybe we could talk to these men in the town center. Hello? Hey, if you're done with your errands, go home. Oh, fuck you guys. Captain's napping spot? How the hell should I know? Well, he's probably not sleeping in the streets. With this bulky build, you won't find him on top of Ruth either. Okay. Where does the captain take a nap? You know, I've been wondering that myself. Before you know it, he's nowhere in sight. Wonder if he has a secret hideout. Alright, looks like this is going to be harder to find the captain than we thought. Hmm. But, we do know that he ate bad bomb fish. This is what we know. This is what we know. Um, anyway. Let's go to the dock. Back to the dock, because we've really got no more other clues. Maybe we can talk to these guys, they'll maybe know something. Or something. Oh, hey, look, there's a guy. This guy's moved. Let's see what he's doing. How am I supposed to find proof that Ellen got off the, this harbor? All I see is my reflection on the water. Oh! Whoops, I dropped a gill. Dang. 
Oh man, I need every gill. Oh, poor guy. Alright, what's this guy gonna say? Been told to use this dog to find Ellen. Yes, yes, yes. Well? What's up, dog? Okay, so what's happening now is the dog is following the scent that was on us, which, since we were in Ma Dinch's house, was the Badam fish. So the bad Balam fish. The stinky, sicky one. So now he's got that odor, and he's going to lead us to where that scent is, which should be where the captain is, because he just ate it and had a bunch of it. So follow the dog. And here he goes. Back to the train station, it looks like, and hopefully you'll find the captain's napping spot. Oh yeah, it was in the train station. Very nice, very nice. Uh. What's up, puppy? And he gets in the train, which we couldn't do because that guy was in the way. Oh shit, it's Rajin. Rajin is the captain? It's Rajin, come on. So I guess Rajin is the captain here. That makes sense since Fujin is the commander. Alright, so he was in the train sleeping. Alright, so now we gotta go find this guy. Um, basically now he's gonna be at the, in front of the hotel. Um, I'm gonna save before we go in there. Now, um, there's also other ways you can find this guy. Obviously you can pay the tabloid guy and he'll say check the train station or whatever and you can, or he'll say something and you could just go check the train station and Rajan will be fished out immediately. Now, there's also, you know what, yeah, let's heal. It's not really going to help much to have selfie at low HP. <clears throat> and, anyway, what was I going to say? Um, there's also another way besides the tabloid guy or finding the clues yourself. If you wait around in Balm for a long enough time, it usually takes around 15 minutes or so real time, and you don't do anything, and you go back to the hotel and talk to the guys, the captain will be there, which is where he ends up at the end of this whole running around thing so you could just wait 15 minutes and he'll show up if you can't figure out anything so that's like that's you know a last resort if you suck all right so anyway that's everything we found the captain we have access out of town and uh, <clears throat> it's time to go face the captain and see what's going on here we can't let them burn Balam to the ground or we can't let them find information on Ellen because the sorceress is evil. Even though she's married to our headmaster, which is still weird. What's this, guys? What happened here? Hey, you, stand back. This could be dangerous. The commander's just about to... Yow! Oh, shit. Ouch. <clears throat> Fu Fujin, control your temper, you know? I was patrolling just like you told me. Even I woke up that search dog sleeping on the job, you know? I'm pretty sure he woke your ass up. You guys, help me out here. We gotta calm Fujin down, you know? I guess. Rajin? Whoa, what are you guys doing here? We're here to liberate Balam, you know? I mean, uh, we're here to liberate Balam. Yeah, get your stanky asses out of here. Cypher told us to give you a whooping if we saw you, you know? You soldiers, help me out too. Alright guys, for boss time against Raijin, the captain. These guys have apparently went rogue and joined Cypher in assisting Sorceress and Galbadia. So let's take these guys out. We got some typical soldiers here who are just really complete pansies. Zell can take him out. There you go. And Squall will have him attack uh, Raijin. I think Raijin has good items to mug here. Couldn't steal. Um, Alright, let's hold off. I want to just keep attacking with Squall here, possibly mug something from Raijin. Dang, still couldn't steal. Nope. There we go. Come on, Squall. Dang. And that's Raijin. He's down. Ugh, you got me, you know? Alright, so these guys are weak. Obviously, they can't do anything to us because they're pansies. We're too strong. Lionheart is too OP. Hey, we got a strength up. That's a good thing. And 12 AP. Nice. Siren learns treatment. Very good. I hope I get a chance to do something before we leave in here. Oh, yeah. The commander's going to get a whooping, too. Uh, don't go in there, guys. I wanted to change something. I think they're going to make us do these battles back to back. So I guess yo, the commander. Pack your bags and get the hell out of Balam. Rajin defeated. That's right, baby. Now where's Cypher and the Sorceress? Yo, all going down. Dang, Zell. 
Zell, calm down. Fujin, looks like you're on your own. Are you still willing to fight? Rage. Whoa, she's not alone. Who's there? It's Rajin. Made your comeback, you know. Actually, I feel a lot better, you know. I feel invincible, you know. How the? I thought we defeated you. Alright guys, and now it's time for real boss time, and this is one of the hardest battles in the game, Fujin and Rajin. Rajin is a lot more powerful here. Uh, he does a lot of damage, he casts a lot of spells like Protect and whatever. Now if you're not OP like me at this time in the game, you're gonna want to cast spells like Protect on yourself, maybe even Shell. Um, Carbuncle's Reflect will do nothing, because, yeah, Fujin's spells pass through Reflect, most of her good spells. Um... Yeah, anyway, we want to try to mug Raj in here. If you want to, you can defeat him first, but one of the first things you want to do right now is draw from Ra uh, Fujin, actually, because Fujin has a new GF for us. Yeah, she has a lot of really powerful spells, like Tornado, which that just passed right through the flex, so Carbuncle is pretty useless in this battle. Yep, that's going to do a lot of damage. All right, so first thing we want to do is draw from Fujin, and we want to drop Handamona can't draw it to or you can't cast it so that gives you a clue that it's something good and there you go acquired pandemona and that is a new gf it's the wind element one there we go we got two strength ups from rajin now let's uh use some gfs here hey i could show off tonberry he's pretty cool what else do we got oh rajin special that's one of his most powerful attacks that normally does like five to eight hundred damage it's pretty op oh, let's see if we can mug fusion real quick yeah, boom! Couldn't steal, nope. That's okay. And he's going for Rajin special again. Yeah, they go ham in this battle. Like, honestly, if you're not OP at this point in the game, it's real hard. Elon, where? Yeah, she's going to start saying that in the middle of the battle. Sometimes it'll use up her turn, so that's really good, actually, when you see her doing that. Because this battle is normally pretty hard. Oh, is Fujin defeated already? Dang. I withdraw. Rajin, go! That's so weird. Normally, I always defeat Rajin first. All right, so let's check out Tonberry. He's going to do Chef's Knife. Here he comes. There's the little fella. Oh, he's so cute. Climbing out of the hole. What a cutie. He's just going to walk right up to him. Rajin's like, what the hell is this little guy doing? Oh, he's sweating. <laughs> That's funny. He's like, uh, doink. Ouch. Yeah, that, that hurts. Tonberry's pretty OP. Ouch, not bad, you know. And he uses a high potion. Yeah, he's going to start doing that when he gets low. Honestly, Raijin is definitely the more threatening one in this battle. He's much more powerful than he was in the other one, and he's more powerful than Fujin, but Fujin is strong. Fujin has more HP. Raijin is the one that does all the damage, but he should be dead now. Fujin, I lost two, you know. Now, don't take my owning that battle lightly. That is actually a very, very difficult battle. The only reason I owned it is because Squall is so OP right now that nothing can stop him. Anyway, we also get this Combat King 002. Now, these Combat King magazines uh, give Zell new moves to use in his limit break. So that's really good. We already missed Combat King 01. I totally made a boo-boo. It's in the D District Prison. I think we can go back in there and possibly get it, but I don't know. GF Brothers learned HP plus 80%. That's good. Leviathan learned Recover. Look at this. Alright, and we got a new GF, the Wind Elemental Pandemona. Hell yeah. Alright, you guys got whooped. Now get out of here. Get out of Balam. This is my hometown, bitches. Are, you t are the two of you taking orders from the Sorceress? Negative. The sorceress has nothing to do with us, you know? We're acting on our own. Own plan? We're on Cypher's side, you know? That's up to you, but enough is enough. This isn't an internal garden conflict. We can't back out, you know? Cypher has a lot of followers, but we're his only friends. We're a posse, you know? The Galbadi and soldiers are only listening to Cypher because they fear the sorceress. Without us, Cypher wouldn't have a posse, you know? If you guys stand behind him that much, tell freaking Cypher to stop this nonsense. Affirmative. We ain't no sellouts. We're behind Cypher all the way, you know? Dang, so they're gonna follow him till the end. 
Okay, understood. So you want nothing to do with Garden now? You guys are officially done with Balam, huh? From now on, we're not going to hold back. If we see you guys again, we're aiming for the fences. I guess that's how it goes. That's what comrades are all about. Hey, are you serious? Don't want to talk anymore, you know? Kind of painful, you know? Wimp. Dang, Fusion. Why are you such a bitch for? Run. And there they go. Who knows if that's the last time we'll see those guys. It's kind of sad, really. Friend or foe, it all comes down to circumstance. That's how we were raised. It's nothing special. What is this I'm feeling? Uh-oh. Squall's going through puberty. Let's go. He feels kind of bad for having to fight Fusion and Rajan, who we once thought were our friends. I guess that's normal. Alright, so Balam, we got Galbadia out of Balam, and now we are back on the garden. Where are we going next? <clears throat> Good question. Hello, excuse me. What is it? Have you decided on a destination? Still thinking. Um, can we maybe go to Travia Garden? It's like in the mountains, so maybe the sorceress will leave it alone. But maybe, you know. Yeah, it probably was, but that's why she wants to see it. Yeah, she'd want to see if everybody is okay, all her friends. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. And there she goes. Alright. Selfie, she's trying hard to act cheerful. Yeah. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. We liberated Balam. We figured out Fujin and Rajan are going to side with Cypher. And they're done with Balam for now. And they're with Galbadi, I guess. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head to Trabia Garden, probably, at Selfie's request. Just to see how it fared, if it survived the missile attack, if the missiles hit it. And if everybody's okay, really. Um, if you haven't done the Chocobo Garden side quest, now is a good time. Because that's where the Chocobo side quest starts. And there are two or three... Chocobo Forest just on the Trabia continent alone, so there you go. But anyways, next episode is where we will do all that, so I will see you guys next time where we head to Trabia Garden. Peace out, everybody.